everyone welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing a special combo video demonstrating how the destruction sword deck actually works out last time we did a deck profile but if you guys haven't seen that video yet please do check it out otherwise here is a few combos that i believe to be uh, what this deck is truly about i'll also provide a few more extra combos to further extend on a few of these combos but before i get started please consider dropping a like if you enjoyed this video and also share this video as well it really does help of course if you want to see more videos like this then feel free to subscribe otherwise just watching one more video will really help out the channel but without further ado let's begin so for the first combo we need these three particular cards well buster whelp is the crucial card we do need however we don't necessarily need the destruction swordsman right away we can have any destruction swordsman card so it could either also be the spell or the trap card as long as it has destruction sword in its name but we must also have here an extender so in this case we have just the confit however if you do not have just the confit then you could also have as an alternative vishita as well that is also a fantastic option otherwise you're playing three copies here of the where art thou so you can easily search out your jester confit but for these demonstration purposes i'm simply going to be working with the jester confit so the way this combo works is we're going to normal summon out our buster whelp the destruction swordsman and we're essentially going to search out a destruction swordsman card from our deck if we already have buster blader then we could search out one of the other cards in this particular case i recommend you search out your memories to add to your hand otherwise if you don't want to or otherwise if you already have memories in your hand then you definitely want to search out your buster blader next up you're going to special summon out just the confits just because it could easily do so now that you have two monsters on the board you can link summon the two together and this will allow you to go into your link monster which is your protector whelp so when Protector Whelp is Link Summon, you could send one of your Destruction Sword cards to your graveyard and you could then also Special Summon one of your Buster Blader monsters from your hand. In this particular case, we already have these two cards, so I'm going to be getting rid of one more Buster Blader to the graveyard. Next up, what I'll do here is Special Summon out the Buster Blader. Don't worry, this Special Summons itself out via the Protector Whelp's effect which is fantastic of course. Now, since Buster Blader is on the board, we could actually just uh, use this card's effect from the graveyard by discarding a Destruction Swords card, it could special summon itself back out. This is only a hard once per turn, but that's okay. Because what we could do now is synchro summon these two particular cards and that will allow us to go into our Buster Dragon. We'll bring it out in defense doesn't have to be pointing you could just put it elsewhere but since you don't have buster blade on the board you could use its effect to bring this back out which is obviously very nice because from that we could then also take our destruction sword memories banish that from the graveyard alongside our buster whelp as well as our spare copy of the buster blader and this will allow us to fusion summon into our buster blader the dragon destroyer swordsman and henceforth you have your essential lockdown here this is the ideal board you always want to have when you're actually opening up with this particular uh, opening hand either going first or second and the thing is this although you do need three cards to pull this off keep in mind that the overall lockdown that you have here is very well worth it no matter how many cards you actually have the other thing i have to say is that this deck is at least flexible enough that it doesn't necessarily require just the confit and it doesn't always have to have specifically Buster Blader or the memories. You could adjust it in different ways and play differently depending on what you feel or rather what you get. And we're gonna see that in the test 10 video. However, as a further extension of this, let's say you had one extra card in your hand and it happened to be 
Dragon Buster, or you could simply just equip it to your Buster Blader. And by doing so, you also lock out your opponents from their extra deck as well. And this is very simple just by having one additional card. Now, let's say we add something slightly different. We drew into this particular opening hand over here. What would we do in this circumstance? We can normal summon out our Buster Whelp, still searching out and adding to our hand our Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordsman. And then of course, we could link this away, allowing us to go for a Link 1. In this particular case, we have our Link Karibo. You could also go for our Mirage, it's up to you. But of course, what I wanna do next is go for a World Legacy Guard Dragon, and this will simply allow us to bring back our Buster Whelp, which is a fantastic option, because we could then link this away, allowing us to then go for our Guard Dragon Pisty. A very powerful card of course because guard dragon can then switch to positions putting it over here and this will allow us to summon back out our buster whelp which is an added bonus to this so next up we can take our guard dragon pisty and our link rebo and together they can go into our protector whelp so with that being said we simply pull off the exact same combos just like earlier of course with slight variations we're going to discard this again to the graveyard and then we're also going to special summon this out from the hand and as you can see here we already have our buster whelp which is very fantastic because what we can do is take these two and then we could synchro summon allowing us to go for our same card again our buster dragon out onto the board but of course buster dragon can then bring this back out onto the board again we could then take this discard that to the graveyard special summon this back out take these two and it's up to you what you want to do you could actually just take these and link summon them together allowing you to potentially go for i don't know perhaps you could go for a link four like a borrow sword of course that depends if you're going second or not you could even just go for appaloosa that's definitely a fantastic option but uh, with that being said I could just go for another level 8 Synchro Summon. So in this case, let's whip out our uh, Chaos Ruler, which is absolutely fantastic because it allows you to mill out your graveyard or mill out your deck into the graveyard and potentially add either a light or dark monster to your hand. Fantastic effect, but it also just adds as an extra beat stick onto the board. Keep in mind, we still have our Destruction Sword Memories Banish it with the extra cards and this will simply allow us to then special summon this out So as you can see there, it's a slight variation, but it produces a different board Absolutely fantastic. All right, so now let's play out a different scenario This is not necessarily a combo though. It kind of is at the same time uh, It's just more so the deck is flexible enough if you are able to memorize different interactions between each of these cards so let's picture this circumstance here. We have two potential extenders. So what could we potentially do with this opening hand? Well, we simply have our Buster Whelp and we obviously summon out Vishida first and then we summon out our Buster Whelp, allowing us to add one copy of our Buster Blader to our hand or our memories up to you. We could then special summon out just the Confit, link these two away. And of course that will allow us to then go for our protector whelp just like always and special summon this out onto the board and of course discard our extra copy to the graveyard we could then take our uh, destruction sword memories uh, ditch that to the graveyard special summoning out our buster whelp we can synchro summon these two allowing us to then go for our buster dragon which in turn will bring out our buster blader again but of course in the graveyard we have memories Banishing these two particular cards together and allowing us to summon out our Buster Blader, the, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. Of course, to further um, add insult to injury, we could also just overlay these two particular cards going for our Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. This also gives us potentially negates in some kind of circumstance that the opponent actually can get through either Dragon Buster or the Buster Blader. So it is a nice addition. And if this actually leaves the field anyway, then you could easily just bring out your Vortex Dragon, which is an added bonus. 
All right, now let's try out something slightly different. This time it's just the two card combo. Let's say we didn't really have any other resources left over. These two happen to be the only cards in our hand because we happen to draw out the game into the mid game or even late game. So what can we do? Well, we have 10 Ye Spirit, Vishida, Special Summon it out, Normal Summon out, our Buster Whelp. Obviously we add our Buster Blader. We can just tribute this off, Special Summon this out from our hand and all we need to do is overlay these two, allowing us to go for our rank 7. So in this case we have our Absorouda, or Absolute Dragon, sorry. And this essentially gives us two negates in terms of attack. And of course, as it leaves the field, you bring out your Vortex Dragon. But what I like about this is the simplicity with this particular combo, giving out something that is going to store two attacks, but at the same time, bring out a Vortex Dragon to bounce back something your opponent has, just because uh, this card leaves the field, activating its effect. Of course, you still have other resources to work with, in this case your Buster Whelp. You could special summon this back out if you draw into some relevant cards, and this is more so something you would see in the mid game to late game. So there's also potential that you might have some extra resources in your graveyard to work with as well, which is definitely very fantastic. Now so far all of our combos have been focusing on Buster Whelp. It is a very crucial card in the deck itself. It's something you can't deny, it is very important. So what are we actually going to be able to do if we don't actually draw into a Buster Whelp? Well, here is one of the situations where we drew into a different set of cards instead. So how do we work with this? We can go for our Dragon Buster, link that away allowing us to go for our Link Karigo. And of course, this will allow us to summon out our Dragon Buster again via World Legacy Guard Dragon. Link that away, allowing us to go for Pisty, move it, bring this back out onto the board. And of course, we can link these two together, and that would allow us to then go for our Protector Well. Of course, with Protector Well out onto the board, we're going to ditch off one card to the graveyard. In this particular case, I actually want to discard our Prologue because by doing so, we could then special summon out our Buster Blader. And you know what? Instead of just going for a Synchro Summon, why not just lock out your opponent from the extra deck? If you know what they're playing and they are very dependent on the extra deck, say Virtual Worlds or perhaps even Prank Kids, you could simply just do this by equipping it and that's pretty much all you have to do to shut down your opponent completely. And of course, if they try to destroy your Buster Blader, all you need to do is activate Prologue from the graveyard, protecting your own card. Now let's actually reverse this situation again and go back. Instead of ditching this, you could still ditch off the memories if you wish to the graveyard itself as well. It's no big deal there and still bring this out. In this case, you could then Synchro Summon, still going for your Buster Dragon. But in this case, you actually want to keep this in the graveyard. You don't want to special summon this out because you could then banish off your memories and banish off your Buster Blader. But in this case, you have the Pisty, which is the extra dragon that you could get rid of. And of course, this will allow us to fusion summon. So in this case, you would be locking out your opponent's board as well. It's a different circumstance. Do you want to shut down their extra deck or do you want to just shut down every monster that they bring out? It's up to you. So that was pretty much it for today's video. I do hope you guys actually enjoyed that. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this. Of course, I didn't go over every single card and how each of them all interacted. That's going to be up to you to decide on as well. I just went over what I thought was really relevant for you guys to actually know about this deck. And of course, we're going to be discovering more interactions once we reach the test and videos. So definitely look forward to that. However, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you all next time.